we're out here with the <clears throat> Evo and we're gonna see if we can fly without the app with uh, without it being crippled at all we don't know if it's crippled or not because I never tried it so we're gonna find out we found out the XR premium is not you can fly it without the phone and it's not range limited or anything like that like the DJI stuff except for the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2 probably but the other DJI stuff is you can't uh, it's all range limited the Spark Ma the Mini and the Mavic Air 2 those things are in the regular Mavic Air those things are all range limited if you don't have the phone they have halos on them so and it's not very far either it's only like a hundred and three hundred feet I think it's a hundred hundred and fifty feet up three hundred feet out so we're gonna see about this now this should not be because first of all that one wasn't and this has its own display on it if you hit the button here it shows you the you know the view from the camera so let's just take off and uh, let me well let me start the video first at least I can do that okay and it also has your recording on there too so and it's got your telemetry up here on the screen so we'll see Let me make sure I'm not needing any compass calibration here. I don't get no toilet bowling or anything. We switch to the video mode. Okay, so when you switch to the video mode, your telemetry is not up there. It, I think it has your time of your battery. Oh, there it is over there. But it's in, it's in this white. It's in white, so it's hard to see. So that's really, they should have that black or red or something, but get out of that display mode okay well let's just go and go out here a little way to see Okay, so I can already tell that the it is not going to be range limited. I mean, you can see that already, right? So it's 600 feet out. If it was range limited, it would already have stopped.
Okay. Let me turn the display off. Okay, so it's still recording. Now I'm looking on here to see if I see an arrow. So it doesn't have that arrow like the X-Star Premium has on the screen. So you have to, to do your navigation, you're gonna have to hit this display button. And look at the screen. You're gonna have to do that because it doesn't have that direction arrow on here. So, but I mean, you know, they do have the video signal, which doesn't do you any good if you lose the signal, right? Okay, so, so, but from what I understand, this star point's pretty good. It has a pretty decent uh, range to it, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna cut the video. There, I just avoided that at the last second. I said, "Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna make it on the case." So, <laughs> I. I veered off to the side there for a second, so. All right, guys. There you go. The test of the... You know, that's the only thing I don't like about this Evo is those, those buttons back here. You hit them with your fingers all the time. I don't even know what they do, to be honest with you. The programmable ones is A and B back here. I've never used them as far as I know. All right, guys, there you go. Altel Evo. It doesn't have, it's not range limited or anything, so you're free to go with that thing. But I wish they would have that little direction arrow on there because it really, uh, it really helps. Alright guys.